What's going on everyone? Welcome to another video. Now today is week four of our featured Habanos brand of the month and this entire month we've been focusing on Romeo and Julieta. Now before I move on to cigar number four, let me finish off the story this month for you. So the Romeo and Julieta's blend of balanced and aromatic filler and binder leaves are from the Vuelta Abeo region and that makes for a classic medium bodied Habano. Today, Romeo and Julieta is as well known as ever around the world and offers the widest range of triple lager, totally mente a mano, long filler, totally handmade vitolas in the entire Habano range. So guys, week four brings us to the Romeo and Julieta Cedros Deluxe number three. This cigar is absolutely beautiful to look at. It's got that amazing cedar wrapping all the way around there. It's a five and an eighth by 42 ring gauge. I can just tell that this is going to be something very, very special. These have had a little bit of time in our humidor here, um, so I know that they've got a little bit more age to them than usual. They're going to really mellow out those flavours and I'm really looking forward to it. But let's get it out of the sleeve and let's have a look. Beautiful hay notes, there's a little bit of, uh, there's a cinnamon note that I'm kind of just picking up. Uh, it's quite enjoyable, I'm quite excited to see what happens when I light this cigar up. But talking of that, let's get it cut and lit and I'll see you in the first third. So guys, I'm just about into the first third of this cigar. Uh, the flavours have been quite spicy, I wasn't really uh, expecting that. But what I've actually, I've had a little look up and the cedar wrapping of the cigar actually creates an almost microclimate within the cigar and really intensifies the flavours. Um, there is a lot of cedarness in there, a lot of woody uh, notes that are coming through. There's a little bit of, um, almost like a cinnamon honey. Um, I got that cinnamon on the, uh, on the smell on the cigar and I'm getting that a little bit of cinnamon honey on the flavour. Really, really enjoyable. Um, I, like I said, I wasn't expecting the spiciness of this, but it's actually really uh, balanced compared to the sweetness. So there's a spice and there's a very nice sweetness. I'm gonna carry on with this. Let's see what the second third's got in store. So guys, I've just come through the middle third of this cigar and the spice that I was getting in the first third is kind of, it's developed into, and the only way I can put this is almost like a, like a smoked paprika spice. spice. There's a, the smokiness that's coming through into that spiciness, it's really, really enjoyable. I can't, I can't begin to explain how much I'm really enjoying this cigar. I'm gonna sit back. I'm hoping that these flavors are gonna intensify and continue all the way through. I'll see you in a few minutes. Peace. So guys, I'm just about at the end of my time with this cigar today and it's been incredible all the way through. I've really enjoyed it. That spice in that final third, has continued to be that sort of almost smoked paprika spiciness that I've really enjoyed. That sugar, that sweet honeyness that's carried on all the way through the cigar. And just finally, as I got towards the end, a little bit of a floral note has dropped in. It's been really great. If you want to pick up one of these cigars, head over to the website right now. It's www.cigars.com. That's C-G-A-R-S.com. And if you've liked this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And until next time, take care of yourselves. Peace.